Tag it. No, you wanna see me naked, naked, naked. I wanna be a baby, baby, baby. So it's your girl comes around back with another video. This video is gonna be a story time on the time I got cheated on. So if you wanna know what happened to me and who would cheat on this beautiful, gorgeous face, think until you like. Then continue watching, like, subscribe, and you already know the drill. If you don't like me, don't fucking watch. Let's get into the video. Gonna be story time on the time that I got cheated by my ex, which is I get to talk about because he is no longer here where he's not dead he's just like incarcerated you know so i can talk about it because you know he don't get out no time soon criminal anyways so this is right this is around the time i would say i was like 17 i'm not sure i was like 17 or 18 i think it was 18 i'm not sure i probably was 17 going on 18 it's a long time ago y'all because i'm 22 now so um wait hold on I need to do a thumbnail. Let me see. Let me do my thumbnail. Okay, that's my thumbnail. Okay. So, this is my time. I was 17 or 18. So, I was in this guy, which name would be unknown because I just don't want to say his name. So, we're just going to give him my last name or his first name. Name is going to be Terrell. So, I met Terrell off of Twitter. Um, he seen me one time and um, I mean, well, it's a long story, y'all. If y'all want to hear that story, come by down below on how I met him. That story is epic as hell. Y'all, my makeup look is kind of messed up on this side. But you know me, I'm not going to stop my video just to see. Oh, oh my God. Okay, if y'all want to hear the story on that, then just let me know in the comments on how I met him. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, it was crazy how I met him. Anyways, long story. Anyways, let's begin this long story. So I remember, you know, I be, I, I usually be it's like this is during the summertime, you know. So this is during the summertime. So I used to always be with him like 24/7. We used to always be at his aunt house or his mom house, but most likely we always at his aunt house. And he was probably like, I want to think he was like 17 years old, like 19 or 20. I'm not sure how old he was, but I always had to be the older guys. Anyways, so um yeah. So we always would be together for like three days, three days out of a week, and then I'll go home and take me home, and I'll just chill there. But in this particular day, it was just so weird because every morning we wake up, we always talk, laugh, or watch a movie, or you no, know, just you know, just be all over each other. But that particular day, he was just like on some other stuff, like he was just like not feeling it. I'm not sure what happened, but I know that I put it on him last night. Yes, hey. Freak, 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 nasty. So he shouldn't have a reason to be tripping and bugging the fuck out the next day. So he was just bugging. He was just not feeling it. He was like, you know, um, get ready. I'm going to drop off at home and stuff like that. I'm like, okay. Hi. Okay. Yeah, mind you that I'm already, I always, it's always in a lady's uh, girl intuition that their boyfriend is cheating on them. It's always in the intuition, but I have always been the type back then. <laughs> I was, a, I was always have been the type back then. Now I'm not like that because I have been through so much shit that I just have to check it. So I was not the type to check his phone because I feel like if you go check your boyfriend's phone, you're going to go look for shit and you're going to find it and you shall be hurt. Thou shall seek, thou shall find, thou shall be hurt. So I was just like, to avoid all that chaos and that drama, I'm just not gonna look through his phone. I'm just gonna, you know, just let it just fall off the top of my head, even though I knew. So I just was so in love with him that I just didn't want to know. So that's the type, I guess that's what it was. So uh, I already knew that, but the acting, acting giving me the cold shoulder was like really weird to me. It was really, really weird to me. The following day, he took me home and, um, he took me home, but we were still texting, like we were still texting each other, you know. 
um, asking me what you doing, did you eat, stuff like that, and when he come pick me up, because you know, I ask him, when you come pick me up, I don't want to be here, I want to be with you, you know, type clingy type shit, um, so he was like, oh, I'm going to get you tomorrow, and stuff like that, we just need it, we just be around each other a lot, we just need time to like, you know, be apart for a second, I mean, for like, for some time, you know, like not breaking up, but like, you know, just not be around each other, 24-7 all the time, like, not like that, so, I was like, okay, fine, so I'll go home, come back tomorrow, whatever it is, what it is. So, um, that particular night, y'all, like, we always talk on the phone, so this was crazy to me. Like, we did not talk that night or whatever. So, um, he was just like, he's really tired, he's really sleepy. Whatever. So, I'm like, okay, well, maybe it's sleepy. I'm just gonna call my homegirls or whatever. And so, you know, I really didn't go to sleep, like, uh, whenever I'm not with him, I'm not going to go to sleep early, I'm going to go to sleep real late. So, you know, I trying to, I was trying to see was he up, so, you know, I text him, or I, I called him, or whatever, and then I got a message that said, oh, he's asleep. What? What? Like, what, bitch? What? what? Like, what did you say? And I'm like, I'm like, like what's her? What are you talking about? Like, what? Like, you better be playing me. Like, don't play me like that. And then the, the reply back was, LOL. I said, no, what? So, so mind you, it's like one o'clock in the morning. I can't physically get to you. So I'm like, what is going on? Like, what is going on? Like, why is it? Why is somebody, you know, texting your phone? What's going on? I'm trying to contact him every, every sort of way. I could, but I could not get to him. So, because if I would have got, if I would have physically got to him that night, I would have been in jail for attempted murder. Like I would, I was on the verge of killing him. Like there was so many things going through my mind. Like why is this girl able to get to your phone? Why is she doing? Like why, why? Like if you're gonna cheat on me, keep those bitches in check. Like make sure those bitches don't get in contact with your girlfriend to let her know hey i'm fucking your boyfriend that is the worst thing a girl could ever be like that's the worst thing that could ever happen to a girl like another girl has to come and tell your girlfriend that you're cheating on her like that's the last thing you want to hear the last thing you want to have is last thing you want to hear is another bitch oh, nigga, that's the last thing we want to hear honestly like if you're gonna do something come and tell me as a man Come and tell me that you cheated on me so we can probably get past it. But by you cheating on me and a girl coming to tell you, that's the worst thing ever. I don't know if guys don't think about stuff like that, but we think, I think about stuff like that. So, anyway, I'm, I'm blowing him up and I'm trying to get him to wait. I'm trying to get him to answer the phone, but it's not answering because then again, he's a really heavy sleeper, especially if he just had sex. So that's what's in my head. At that moment that they had sex, because you know he's a heavy sleeper. So a little clip was shown, you know, a little clip that she um a little clip was shown of him or whatever, um, of him sleeping or whatever. A little clip was shown of him sleeping. Which I know was my perfect. And of course it's his phone. Bitches taking pictures of him together. Next following morning, I woke up to so many missed calls, so many text messages, and so much shit from him, and him trying to dilute the situation, trying to apologize, and shit like that, trying to tell me what's going on, telling me answer the phone, um, telling me, oh, let me pick you up, where you at? Let me pick you up, where you at? Let me pick you up. And I'm just like, I'm just like, you know what? I don't know. Like, he wanted to pick me up, but I knew if he picked me up, then. I was gonna start back, you know, falling in love with him and just forgiving him. So I was just like, I let him pick me up. <laughs> I let him pick me up. So I, he picked me, when he picked me up, we went to his aunt's house. I was like, show me who this bitch is. Show me who the slut, the skank is that you decided that you wanna cheat on this guy. What that bitch at? What that bitch at? Come on. What that bitch at? Come on. No, you show me her. Let me see her pictures. Let me show you. Let me see who the fuck she is. So at this point, I'm just like, show me the girl. Like, show me who it is that you cheating on me with. Like, show me who this girl is. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all, when he showed me the girl, why is it 
every time a, a, your boyfriend cheats with the girl, it's always a tasteless, classless, ratchet, you know, ugly, strag ass. There are always those bitches that your boyfriend decides to cheat on you with. And you be questioning yourself, like, is this what you like? Is this, is this what turns you on? Because if so, go ahead, go out there and get it. I'm done. I'm fine. I'm over it. It's, it's a wrap. Like, I'm fine. I'm cool. I'm over it. It's a wrap. Like, all this is a wrap. We done. And, you know, they get the bag and stuff like that. So, you know, me being real, real young, my mistake at that. Me being real, real young, my mistake. I start to message her. I'm trying to get down to the bottom of it. I'm like, who, what, like, what's going on? Who, what, what you, like, you know what I'm saying? How did you meet him? What's going on? Tell me what it is. Like, you know why? The girl was like, oh, I've been knowing Terrell for years. I've been knowing for years. Like, you fuck with him? Like, bitch, you telling, you asking me, do I fuck with my boyfriend? Like, am I fuck with my own boyfriend? I'm like, you the girlfriend? Or am I the girlfriend? Like, so, and I was like, my little gullible naive ass. I'm like, well, he don't fuck with you. He don't love you. You ain't nothing but a some pussy to him or whatever. All you gonna do is go home with a wet ass. You know, type of shit that I was telling her or whatever. And then she, you know, she tried to make me mad. She was like showing me little videos of him picking her up. And I was like, oh, so you gonna pick the bitch up. Like, you gonna pick the bitch up in the car. I sit in the passenger side of like, <laughs> nigga, are you dumb? Like, are, could you, are you dumb? Are you really that damn dumb? So, um, moral to the story is that the girl was whacked in a bitch. He was whack as fuck for cheating on me, and he was an asshole. So, like I said, I knew that he cheated on me. I knew my woman's intuition. I knew that I could have smacked the shit out of him when I saw him that very first morning. But you know, like a like a little gullible girl that I was, I just took the nigga back when I shouldn't even fucking take him back. I shouldn't even fuck with him no more. But that was years ago, and I'm finally over that shit. Like, I'm, I'm finally on a person. But I'm finally over that. Like, it's just like, whatever at the moment. It's like, whatever now, so like whatever but all I would like to say is that if you ever find yourself in a position and a nigga cheat on you and he doing it repeatedly it's not you sweetie it's not you it's him he's not man enough for you sorry he's not man enough for you and he's not if he if he tells you that he cheated on you the first time okay cool you can take him back if you want to that's your choice but if he repeatedly cheated on you it's not you there's nothing in you or about you that says I'ma allow a nigga to cheat on me on my forehead. There's nowhere that what that it says that I'ma allow somebody to cheat on me. I'ma allow somebody to do this to me. There's not nowhere in the book, the world, street code, nothing that says it's okay for a nigga to cheat on you. Because once you once he cheat, the right time you forgive him, he might he might depending on him he might wanna he might cheat on you again. But if you let him cheat on you the second time, he's just gonna walk all over you. So you might wanna grab you some balls or, or grow you some kahunas or whatever you wanna call it and leave because it's not worth it. It's not worth feeling like you're not good enough for a nigga. Like it's never worth it's never worth it. Like there's other niggas out there. And I know you probably thinking like, damn, what if he don't fuck with another bitch? Like what if he go back to the girl that he cheated on me with? So what? So what? Because what you think he gonna do to her, he gonna cheat on her, probably with you, or probably with another bitch. So, don't even worry about that. Niggas gonna be niggas, but a man could be a man. So, stop playing with these little boys and get you a grown ass man. So take his responsibility and treat you like the queen you are. So, so you guys. That is the end of my story time. I hope you can relate and, you know, relate and not fuck with that nigga or that guy. I can't, I need to stop saying the N word. 
But I hope you can relate and not fuck on him no more and not talk to that bitch nigga or that the nigga that cheated on you. I hope you can relate and just be like, you know what? That's not for me. I'm done. I'm fine. It's over. Peace out. Hasta la vista, sayonara. Like, you want my life. I don't need this. I don't need you no more. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hey, my camera fell down because I got too crunk. But you know what I said. I don't need you no more. Peace. Hasta la vista. Sorry, Nora. Konnichiwa. Assalamu alaikum. All of that. Mixed up. Whatever. Peace out. And, awesome. Thank you for viewing my story. Thank you for watching. And if you want to see more videos of my story time, or if you liked this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Tell me about your experience. So I'm cheating on you. Um, support my channel if you're a new, if you're a new subscriber. Then support my channel and I'll support yours. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat. No, I don't have Snapchat. I want to start back Snapchat, but I really know. But find me on my social media. So it will be down here below at kale.real on Instagram at the bad move on Twitter on at me on Facebook kill to real until then see you later love you guys bye no you wanna see me naked 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 I wanna be a baby baby baby